Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. This is Mike, and today we are hosting a party in the pop up party bus. Alright guys, so here is the new LEGO movie set, there you go, the party bus, I think it looks great. Alright, jokes aside, it's actually this thing, but if you look at those both, you can say that this one is probably what Lone Star and Barth would get from the money they got from saving Princess Vespa. So let's say that's Eagle 6, if Spaceballs 2 was a thing, don't you think? Very much so, yeah. <laughs> By the way, you can get this model in our web store, BrickVault.toys, check it out. Alright, but on to the set. This one is, uh, I gotta say from right in the beginning, one of my favorite ones from the entire LEGO movie, Two Wave. And uh, let me explain why. Just a few quick facts about it. We have set number 70828 with 1024 pieces inside. The price is pretty solid, $79.99 in the US right now. And you get three minifigures, or should I say, actually two dolls and a fig of entirely new and exclusive version of Party Unikitty. There is also the fig of this guy, don't ask me what it is, his name is ZB, like DJ ZB or something, I don't know, it's pretty cool, we're gonna get into these guys in a second, and uh, well, let's take a look at that bus first. This thing really looks awesome. I just like how ridiculous the sets from the LEGO Movie 2 are, and this thing is the epitome of ridiculous. It, it has a very much so a blink to it, all these curves and vibrant colors. They even have a new color for this set, this weird orange-ish pink is called the Vibrant Coral. It doesn't look in the camera as it looks in the real life actually, guys. It has this weird glow feel to it when you look at that color in your hands and I really like it. It's uh, the, the name Vibrant Coral actually gives it a lot of justice and overall it works well with the bus with that use of teal and purple in two different uh, shades. Uh, I guess, and everything is studless, there's a lot of curves. The front is using the um, Slave 1 shield in a new color, so there is a really awesome touch there. And overall, this thing with the small wheels and this like very aerodynamic shape to it just looks vib <laughs> vibrant, I, I keep using the word vibrant, it just looks very futuristic and sleek and so on, and just feels good to just look at it and even play with it. At the same time, the set is very solid, very swooshable. It's actually a rocket bus. So you can see, just gonna give it a look from the every from every angle. There is a set of massive engines in the back. There is a sort of a control cockpit at the top. There is a bunch of things that I really like about this guy, especially those curves, as I mentioned, are really good looking. And that windshield with the top windshield and the even higher windshield, are just working great. Overall, the color combo and the use of shapes here is something that everybody uh, really will love about this set. And uh, if you take it with a, you know, a grain of salt, a bit of a distance to it, that it's not as serious as you supposed it to, be, um, you are expecting it to be, then this set really packs a punch in, ter in terms of fun and entertainment. So I'm gonna start opening the bus and showing you every single aspect of it. First of all, I think I wanna just open the front. Uh, so this one comes off like that, boom. And there you have a fully open uh, cockpit, let's say, or the driver's cabin. This thing is designed so that it fits um, ZB. Z you, you spell that Z-E-B-E. -E. Um, that's the guy's name. And uh, he's sort of a DJ or just a bus driver, I don't know. Looks very like from Fortnite with all the colorful things to it, but hey, this thing just fits there. There is no stud in, it just, the shape of it just gets you um, the fig, the big fig in there, no problems. There's just a small steering wheel, a shifter, and uh, some sort of a, whatever, super party button he has there on the dashboard. You can remove that, and there's of course studs in the side, so you can actually uh, put some minifigs in there if you wanna, even standing so, if you want, because friends' figs do not really sit or do not have studs to sit. Um, so you can just fill someone in and then close it off. And it actually looks pretty good that, that way as well. <laughs> I really like that thing. It, uh, I just, it just looks so awesome from the front. All right, now that we have that, let's open this thing up. And this is where things get interesting. Jack had a really fun 
face when he saw that for the first time but here it goes okay so you drop the side wall boom it's very heavy just on a few hinges there so it opens up and then you open the top dance floor oh sorry actually you open this the whole the dj station then you open this it's pretty high thing like a, like a disco ball or some sort it actually spins and then you open the again the upper dance floor like this boom and there is more you open the sound system boom boom and if that wasn't enough you can also open the side wings i mean the thrusters that uh, give you access of some windows to the back of the party bus this one goes on the other side as well and once this thing is open up it looks like an entirely different set does it but wait there is more <laughs> of course it has a light brick function which is pretty awesome actually one of the coolest functions i've seen in a while in a set using a light brick you just push the the lower engine inside it engages those cogs in the middle um, there is a mechanism to that and boom you got yourself a full-on party that's awesome Th those new elements those cogs are entirely new those are plates uh, made as cogs and you can see this vibrant coral color just really popping up in the middle of the bus with all those stickers there's the use of this color um, throughout the entirety of the bus and that looks just simply amazing i just love it let me just get the lights down maybe a bit so you guys can see the effect which is really cool there you go look at that this ball in the back has some sort of a texture to it so it provides this like prism looking lights throughout the entire bus and you can you can have fun with it you can play some minifigs on the dance floor you have some really cool dancing action all right the lights are back on and let me show you once again there is a lot of action going on here and uh, <laughs> i really love it i don't know what's what's so fun about it but there is a lot of cool things you can do with this set so the middle thing rotates right there is another rotation dance floor on the actual doorway so you can put another fig in here to have uh, the entire party that's why it's called the uh, party pop-up bus there is the dj booth right there so you can put the minifigure in there it gets even more blink the sound system is awesome there is some uh, also some stickers on the upper dance floor there is a lot to it um speaking about the stickers you don't have many in this set most of it is actually brick built when it comes to decals and the looks of the bus some of these stickers include the one on the side door this one stands out a bit because always white stickers on white brick do not look as good as you as they are supposed to but because always the brick is a bit more faded away but i think if you align it correctly it actually works well with those tiled shapes that go across the entire bus i like this combination i don't think the stickers are overdone here i think they're just perfect uh, when they are needed they are needed the, those are prints for example the um uh, the vinyl plates are are prints there is some sticker for his console in the back there is a sticker in here as well but that's that's pretty much all of it elements here for the um, nightclub look um, that's all it is but they are so well hidden and so well placed that i don't think it's going to be a matter for even for people who do not really like stickers in sets at all so i really like this one in that way and i think they did an excellent compromise between uh, putting a lot of brick colors in the set against the number of stickers they have the back and the front of the bus have some sort of a license plate and this is interesting because as you remember for example ninjago had their own alphabet and language that was actually readable throughout the movies i wonder if that's the case here because these seem to be like a recognizable um alphabet elements that maybe there is a sort of a language in the movie that doesn't really look like ninjago to me unless it is let me know in the comment section but there is really something written in the back plate and there is something written uh hold on in the front plate see so let me know if those are actually sort of a letters for the lego movie 2 uh, alphabet language uh, maybe that's some space language they are using in the movie i have no idea if that's ninja go let me know as well but there is really something to it i'm, I'm sure those signs mean something okay i'm gonna close the whole thing off there is not no particular order in which uh, you gotta do that maybe get down the, the disco ball first get the upper dance floor uh, get the uh, main section closed off get the thrusters uh, hidden actually looks pretty cool when you have those open see so it's like a it's like an extra hyperdrive or some uh, or some stuff like that you close it off you close the sound system and you close the 
top canopy and um, oh one more thing the top canopy can actually hold the fig in a different another way so you can place the friends thing like that he actually sits there and he's way higher than in his dj booth so it actually looks like he's piloting the whole thing or just being in you know, some sort of a turret or just a lookout post when they're like I don't know, fly through space? <laughs> We're gonna have to wait for the movie to see how that bus is used. But all right, I wanna close off the whole thing and show you all the characters that we get in this set. In that matter, it's a very unique set because you don't really get classic minifigures. So the names go pretty awesome for such set. The pink girl is Melody. The uh, teal guy is called Tempo, named Tempo. This is the Disco Kitty, uh, really awesome. And as I mentioned before, the big thing like, uh, is that a giraffe or a zebra or a horse or what is it? Let me know. <laughs> His name is ZB or DJ ZB. I, I just like to call him DJ ZB because I don't know, it just looks cool. Uh, sounds cool, actually. <laughs> All right, uh, let's take a look at, the, at her. And just so you guys know, this is actually the first set we ever reviewed that has, you know, normal uh, mix of dolls, like friends dolls, let's call that, and another character like Unikitty. So Lego Movie 2 are actually the first sets to have this crossover between dolls and even Duplo characters and minifigures and Unikitty as a separate figure and so on and so on. There's a lot to it. And the thing you notice about her, of course, is her awesome afro. That is an entirely new element. Looks like a raspberry. It is very squishy. It's, it's like rubbery. It has a very nice finish to it. I like this one a lot. It's going to make a great element for some custom builds for sure. Uh, she gets a really awesome print for the face with those party glasses. There is the party outfit, more like a fitness outfit to me. And she comes with that mold for the microphone that I think actually appeared in some of the friends sets as far as I remember. There is the print for her high boots, uh, even like there's a pink at the bottom for the, the lower part of the boots. And the back also is very simple. I like that one arm is actually a long sleeve with uh, an extra color addition to it. And I think that's that vibrant coral to her. So very nice fig. And um, I think that might be the first time I don't really mind having such cool uh, friends dolls. I keep calling them figs, but those are actually friends dolls. Um, they just add so much flavor to this set and I don't think that any minifigure would do this set, this party vibe justice as much as Melody does. Here is a Tempo, he is holding some sort of a soda can or just a party drink, some, some sort of that. His outfit looks like it was taken from the Jetsons. I mean, come on, <laughs> look at that. Very futuristic boots, like silver finish, some stripes, very fitting, uh, his short sleeved, but there is a CD of sorts on his chest. Entirely Jetsons thing, like sci-fi cartoon era, I don't know. His hair mold is showing his silver headphones and the color in teal it looks like a bit of a ninja fortnite player anyhow uh, there's a wristband on one of the arms and overall this guy looks cool has a nice smiley face, uh, face expression i guess works well together with melody in this set disco kitty I don't know, I'm one of those people who really like the Unikitty character. I think the series of collectible minifigures for her were pretty awesome. Uh, co Comic-Con collectibles with her are also very fun. I always love the face expressions printed on that 1x3 brick. And this one is entirely exclusive to this set. We have a new print for her tail. Uh, her, you know, glasses are pretty awesome as well. We never seen that one before. And she comes with those printed slope pieces that showcase her, uh, you know, very bling boots that she wears for the party. I'm not sure if you can dance with them very comfortably, but hey, they're here and that makes this character very unique in, in so many ways. And um, well, she's a great addition to this set and who knows, maybe she's the owner of the bus too. And this guy, ZB, is just ridiculous. You guys have seen him many times in the set already, but he comes with an actual print, this brick for his shirt is an actual print and they made some of the color combinations for the bricks surrounding it uh, very nice there is a lot of colors here that vibrant color is back again there is the purple in sort of a faded form like a lighter purple and this weird orange yellowy orange that's a different kind of different shade of orange that you are used to and he also uses one of the few the new ones the new um, one by one roof pieces that are like rounded half circles or something like that. Really, 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 really fun character and surprising in this set. He drives the bus, he fits there. The whole cockpit is actually made to fit him. So 
<laughs> I don't know. I just like that. It's I think it's so ridiculous, but so so over the top, yet so funny and cartoony that uh, all the Lego Movie sets, Lego Movie Two sets, should really follow this set in terms of the vibe and the the fun that this set brings with such crazy looking characters. So, in overall conclusion, I think this may remain one of my favorite sets from this wave. Uh, we've built them all with Jack the last night and uh, still I enjoyed all of these sets a lot. I built like three or four of them, mainly the big ones, and this one still remains one of my favorites in terms of how it looks, how it feels, how vibrant it, it, it goes and how well it connects with this ridiculous factor of the movie. It's just awesome. I think I'm gonna have it as a display set. It just looks good in its closed form. When it opens up, it shows up uh, the entire soul of the set, I would say. Kids gonna love it. Uh, a lot of like vibrant colors and lights and that light brick with that disco function and all that stuff. Uh, the front looking like a slave one and it reminds me of a space balls. Like, like what if Lone Star and Barf had money to actually get their bus really cool looking and brand new and party and all this stuff. Anyhow, <laughs> I think that this set is, is definitely recommended. If you guys like just the ridiculousness and the um, the colorfulness of these sets, this one is probably the best one to pick up. Over a thousand pieces for 80 bucks, I think it's a good deal for what you get. Uh, some people may not like the fact that there are no minifigures in this set, just like different random characters, not random really, but very different from what you are used to. Uh, well, if you get over it, I think this set will be quite popular and uh, who knows, might be the most popular set of the entire Lego movie, at least the first wave. We'll see so. All right, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our content, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to click the bell button for notifications for our videos. Thank you so much for watching. It was Mike, and I'll see you next time on Brick Vault. Hey, thanks for watching this video. As always, you can leave a like and subscribe. And also, if you want to support our channel, you can head over to our web store at www.brickvault.toys. You can find awesome models there. All these guys that I have on the table are available in the forms of instructions and parts lists. Every purchase you make supports our channel and also the designers that are working with us on those uh, amazing models. So consider doing that. Thanks so much. And it was Mike. I'll see you again on Brick Vault.